What up guys, it's Shani with Healing Elements here with another addition to my spirit animal playlist. And this time, you guys, it is all about one of my favorites, all about the dolphin spirit animal, which a lot of people I found in the spiritual community do identify with. And hopefully if you have identified with the dolphin spirit animal totem or spirit animal energy throughout your life, uh, perhaps my interpretation in this video will explain some of the traits that you have personally, or of course, you know, any symbolic meaning or messages that you can get from this is all that I intend to guys with a lot of blessings, love and light. And of course, I always say uh, within the videos in this playlist, if you do not um, perhaps associate yourself or have ever resonated with a specific spirit animal, um, maybe, you know, intuitively pick one of the videos within this list, take a listen, maybe of a few of them and see if you can find your spirit animal or if you resonate. So again, uh, the dolphin spirit animal, one of my favorites, it's so powerful because of the blending between um, almost like the yin and yang energy. The absolute understanding that the yin and yang concept, you know, this equilibrium that we all have within us, you know, it lies within us all, this balance and this play of lightness and darkness of, you know, being, if you want to metaphorically compare it to a dolphin in the wild, of being always, you know, on the hunt, always geared up for survival and strategically very smart in the way in which you are involved in this hunt and survival. However, always relying on playfulness. That is a big theme. When you resonate with the energy of a dolphin spirit animal, it is an understanding that the effect of playfulness, the effect of joy, right? Say that again. The effect of playfulness, joy, humor, you know, um, the delight, the delights of life, so to speak, that that, you know, remembrance or going back to for a moment even throughout your life to that age of childlike innocence, you know, is so important. Um, you understand the importance of breaking up really heavy moments because throughout life, there's always going to be those, right? Predator in the wild is always going to be hunting after a dolphin, right? They're not the apex predator. So breaking up this extreme, you know, I guess, polarity between heavy moments and bringing in the light. So, you know, if you picture your inner being that like the dolphin in the wild, right? Again, there are predators, there are survival, there are tragedies, you know, dolphin could have a stillborn. I mean, there are everything that goes into what we all experience on this planet as beings, right? There is all of that. However, you know, in the wild, throughout all of these, you know, um, traumas, tragedies, or even the greatest of times, still, your inner being is like that of the dolphin spirit animal. If you resonate with the importance of during those heavy moments, during every moment, of course, the light ones leaping like the dolphin, jumping, twisting, acrobatically, gracefully, beautifully, twirling for fun, just for fun, like the dolphin. It's incredibly important. And it is a playfulness that some would say is an immaturity, but the truth is you throughout your life, if you resonate with this energy, you understand it's actually a wisdom. The dolphin spirit animal is wisdom, graceful wisdom, playful energy. The dolphin spirit animal, you know, totem also represents equality, very similar to what I like to compare um, traits within the Libra sun sign in the Zodiac. So all about liberty, integrity, balance, you know, equality within human human rights and equality within every inanimate and animate object for that matter is rights. Harmonizing all that who you spend time with and all with that and that which are around you in totality is in harmony. And you try to express this knowing that you have your entire life and bring this understanding to others. Um, you know, very, very common trait 
for those I feel who resonate with this energy of the dolphin spirit. Um, you're team oriented, never wanting to, you know, um, care if you're first or last. It's important to you just that seamlessly through the efforts of each individual that's working on, you know, whatever you're coordinating um, is done with a very deliberate and coordinated and efficiently, you know, responsive and attractive and very able and successful mission, right? So like just picture, you know, an example, the dolphin pods coordinating fishing in elaborate ways, um, working as a team, each knowing their place to go and usher and jump and get the fish to, you know, the sardines or whatever, to the top of the water so it's more accessible, things like that. Also in that note, speaking of dolphins in the wild and how much emphasis is put, in, you know, in the comparison of the energy within our spirits, the dolphin spirit energy exemplifies a beautiful, unswerving, protective energy, a protector of all that you come in contact with. So, you know, honestly, it is hard sometimes for people who resonate with this dolphin spirit animal energy to say no. So you're the type of person where your relative will tell you, you should not have given your last $5 to that homeless person because they're just going to go buy some wine. And you're like, you know what? Good for them. I made their spirit happy. You're never one to be taken advantage of though. Never one to be taken advantage of. However, just as the dolphins in the wild have been known to be extremely nurturing and protective, even sometimes tales of saving, you know, sailors from drowning for real, for like keeping them afloat, even if they're passed out with their mouth up, you know, until someone can save them, that there is tons of stories like that. The dolphin is incredibly compassionate and there have even been um, stories where, you know, dolphin pods will take another, you know, sometimes another totally different species under their wing that is either um, unable, weak, lost, um, alone, in danger, and save them by surrounding them with their pod, protecting them from predators. Just extremely, extremely protective, heavy desire to spread love and unconditional compassion to everybody else too. Um, definitely the dolphin spirit animal energy uh, relies on spreading love over aggressive tactics. You know, again, just like the Libra, some sign it reminds me of the MO is like, can't we all just get along? Can't we all just work together in a team effort as a pod, as a collective consciousness for what is good, right? Um, such a, again, the nurturing spirit within you is magical. You know, uh, you possess definite, definite psychic abilities, a cosmic or higher consciousness protector, you know, mother Gaia type, uh, spirit within you, an instructor, a leader, you know, a mediator between realms of higher vibrational energy and someone who is not doubted, uh, when you speak because of your ability to intellectually convey what you are feeling from the ethereal, right? You know, on that note, intellectually, you are second to none. You are a planner. You strategically plan. And it's like you set your dominoes carefully with your other team members too. And you sit in a planned, innovative way, in a step-by-step -step process, never being impatient at all. That's something that you have as well, patience. And, you know, you only are ready to have those dominoes fall into line, into place beautifully with each other when your creation is ready to be released. So you have a big affinity for just these strategically, um, intellectually planned things, whether or not you're an architect or whether or not this is planning, you know, rallies on humanitarian issues or planning help for people um, at the border, something like that. I mean, just whatever you're passionate about in um, that realm of compassion and love and nurturing, you know, you understand that there's a process and you don't get impatient when other people fall off the map because it is taking maybe too long for their dream to become reality or that they're not getting enough help from the team. You are very patient and are able to wait to, you know, infinity. You're able to understand that patience is a virtue worth obtaining, pursuing if you don't have it and reveling because a good product is, you know, released when you're ready to release that 
creation and see everything, like I said, those dominoes fall into place. Um, you're definitely gifted with the abilities to heal through your hands, through Reiki, through vibrational medicine, with your words. So if you are a singer, if you are someone who just um, gives people comfort, even if you don't have an occupation that has to do with therapy, um, very influential at spreading your message, spreading the you know message of compassion, of unconditional love um, in this way. Your voice seems to be very you know, um, addictive for people and in a good way, very healing and addictive. And it seems to be, you know, something that people, when they're very down and out and they don't feel like anyone else would understand and they really need some deep healing and they don't really want to take the time to have to display this to anybody they know, they can come to you. If you resonate with this dolphin spirit animal energy, it is almost unspoken. When they come into your presence, you just start healing with your words on a dime you know, totally using your intellect and intuitive guidance at the same time to capture and encapsulate exactly what they need to hear or what they need to be inspired to do. So a lot of, um, you know, spiritual healers in any kind of facet are uh, someone who would definitely relate and resonate with the dolphin spirit animal energy. I want to say it's almost like Mother Teresa mixed with Leonardo da Vinci, right? Like that kind of energy, recognizing both like the Mother Teresa, like that imperative responsibility to heal and guide humanity with compassion, right? And non-judgmental qualities. And then also just like Leonardo da Vinci, recognizing along with that way in which we can show that humanity, um, innovation, genius, and just creative talent in different quirky ways can expand like your audience and you know introduce this harmony of humanity this message that you're trying to convey to more groups of individuals and sometimes that can hold uh, people back when they don't have that if they if they just want to stick to one group that they feel will resonate it often you know isn't enough we have to have the whole collective um, be an you know unconditional loving forgiving body of beings, right? And, you know, one thing that is very, very misunderstood, I feel, just because the dolphin spirit animal is so joyous, so gay, so, you know, um, playful, and so abundantly balanced with integrity, um, a lot of people can, you know, um, kind of equal this to being a people pleaser. Never, never, you believe in self sufficiency. 110%, oops, self sufficiency is what you believe in. You believe in self-sufficiency and you believe that everyone, you know, would be better to, you know, work joyfully for less money than be affected by negative vibrations, earning more pay. Guys, and with that, that is all about the dolphin spirit animal.